this particular lecture. One, two, three, and you know, the the Snoop Dogg, aka like Snoop Lion. You know you Figured I'd take it back to the roots. Death maker, so we're crazy. Death row is the label that pays, man. Unfatable, so please don't try to fake this. Right. Drop it like it's hot. I've always had Drop respect like for the Snoop. Pigs try to get at you. Park it in the like world of hip hop. Park it like it's hot. Old Park school like gangster rap. Hard. West Coast get flavor. Attitude. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. Because although like I grew up hot. on the original hip hop, old school rap, the roots of Run DMC, Beastie Boys, EPMD, Trap Call Quest, Wu Tang, East Coast. Ice creams, I dabble with the West Coast, million dollar NWA, That's Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Ice Cube, so I've always had respect, even when he blew up and got big and kind of dabbled with the world system, you know, oh, he was always that mediator, so as a rapper, I've always had respect for the brother in the world of hip hop, you should think about it, take a second, matter of fact, we you had the documentary that came out this past year based off not guilty of the crime Snoop's, visit, the Snoop's visit to Jamaica in the beginning of 2012. He said he was kind of at a point of his life. He'd been through the gangster lifestyle, to underground, west coast, to mainstream hip hop and commercialism. And that's what forced me to And he's been through a lot. Path. He went to Jamaica. What he thought was a visitation to do a reggae album to expand his creativity, music, and he found more than just the basic culture of Jamaica. He found more than just the basic one love vibrations of, of reggae music from the source. I've been on the top ever since I've been in. Conversion to I got Rastafari and even changed his name. The Snoop Lion. That ain't with no disrespect, but time some people rapping. accepted that, some people liked that, and some I people thought, record, you know, why would he change his name? And then he came Snoop out and Dog. said he don't think about hustling and making money, and drug Dog. dealing and shooting, all oh, that be out of here. When he was speaking of this, you know, making these remarks about all that gangster lifestyle and shooting was this particular album. He's still Snoop Dogg. And he's still Snoop Lion, apparently. Here at the end of I didn't just want to come 2013. Here and say I made a record in Jamaica. So we got together with uh, the producers, Major Laser. Which you like better? And he Snoop put out this pretty Lion. decent reggae album. I thought it was pretty good. He had other reggae artists and even you know mainstream hip hop artists like Busta Rhymes, some Kali Buds, so the other artists that I like. But the whole album itself is good. And uh, he put out this. Reggae track, one of his first reggae songs he put out. And you listen to the lyrics, it talks about the fact that he knew when he came to this conversion and brought upon the name Snoop Lion that uh, people would talk some smack. You know, some people accepted it and showed him much love, and other people just want to talk trash. Around this time last year, you know, I was working at a deli in my hometown and you know, these guys I work with, they, they were kind of like knuckleheads, man. A couple of them asked me what kind of music I listen to. And of course I said, you know, old school rock, you know, to, to punk and hip hop. And, and uh, I mentioned reggae music because I used to be in a uh, local reggae band. But, uh, they said, oh, you, so you like Snoop Lion? That was the first thing that came out of their mouth. Not, oh, you like Bob Marley, you like Peter Tosh, uh, you like Sizzla, Capleton, no. You know, everyone knows who Bob Marley is, but, uh, you know, they said, oh, you like Snoop Lion," And they were dissing on the brother because this brother listens to a lot of uh, gangster rap and a lot of new school BS, like Juicy J and all that whack shit. And that's not true hip-hop. But, you know, he, was, he used to be a fan of Snoop Dogg, and he was mad at the fact that he changed his name to Snoop Lion and was doing this whole reggae thing. And I'm like, why don't we just see what the brother does in the next year or two? You know, see if he's real about his conversion and, you know, maybe he's going to put out some good music. I tried to tell him, I think he still calls himself Snoop Dogg and he's still putting out hip-hop. And I've been checking out a lot of his videos on YouTube, the whole uh, GGN News and, and, and all that comical stuff he's putting out and connecting with a lot of celebrities and hip-hop artists and rock artists. And it seems like he's being kind of a 
unifier. But, uh, you know, I've heard people diss this brother from both sides of the cross, those who are not in Rastafari or even in Christ through whitewashed Christianity or other religions, but people who are just of the world that they, they, they glorify in that, you know, gangster lifestyle and fake ass rap and hip hop and, you know, just uh, don't really have love for the brother, know nothing about reggae music or Rastafari. But then I've heard people in the life of Rastafari, brothers like uh, two Rastafari brethren, like the legendary Bunny Whaler, that was a part of his documentary that supported him. And then after several months went by, he, he accused of suing him, you know, for using the name Snoop Lion because of his lifestyle, not uh, living up to his expectations as a, as a Rastafari. Not the point. The point See, what we have to keep in mind that some of these things are based off facts. He was going to be a real Rastafarian, but the Babylonian media promises. feeds off that so and exaggerates. That he put out a press release, which you can then use as rolling paper after reading. <laughs> now they're pissed and they're asking him to stop calling himself Snoop Lion. That he's exploiting this persona when he's not really a Rastafarian. We now go to the Angry Millennium Council in Jamaica for their official comment. Brown and record the sacred services. Then you had Sizzler. The holy temple of his Brown Snoop Dogg with Snoop Lion. Nothing is right, boy, nothing is cool. conversion, oh, supposedly. Rascal, Snoop Dogg, a trifle. Tell them say I'm Parasol, a CIA rule. Media in chat even gets a CIA stole. Tell We're, we are trying And you have Sizzler have welcome Snoop Lion. Persecution, torturing, lynching. The Rastafari yes, movement. I can like Snoop to um, come and even so make put together by somebody calling Sizzler a hypocrite. The so they've already, really by like now they've already burned up with that fire. You know, the Sizzler, although from the Bobo Shante mansion of Rastafari is true. In the, holy temple of his majesty, the light of his imperial majesty. But uh, nothing is right, it's hard to say, man. It's like uh, you diss him and then accept him because this whole thing is confusing to even many of us in the light. Having a great icon like Snoop to come and even make mention of Rastafari and embraces the culture, we really like that. And then others so like remember, Baraka, we mentioned that Snoop Dogg was Snoop in Jamaica gives him credit for his and him actually was amongst Rastafari as a matter of fact Rastafari. he actually went to a bingy in a February I think it was February Snoop Dogg was here we are same still there though <laughs> my name? Hmm. oh hello I am a question mark would you like to hear more about me? Stop, on the other hand, is used at the end of a sentence that tells something or answers a question. 